Mr. Chair, fellow speakers and guests. An A8 is possibly the hardest of all the levels to do. Humour is so varied. Not everybody will find everything funny. The challenge is, is to understand humour. You know, a pink elephant can be dropped into any conversation just like a sheep. But I bet you're thinking about the pink elephant. You know, with its green ears. What? You mean you haven't seen one of those? Have I all got you on board with that pink elephant? That, to me, is humour. Because you're never going to see a pink elephant with green ears. But when evaluating a speech of humour, it is important that you do three things. You'll notice in life three is a great number to have. And three, when evaluating, is really important. So, when you're evaluating, it is simply feedback for the speaker. We always refer to them as the speaker because it's less personal. When you're giving feedback, you want to take it on board. So if it's a personal attack, you tend to go into a defensive mode. And we don't want that. We want learning because that's the way we get better. And let's face it. The only way to get better is to listen to that feedback. So giving it in a constructive way is really important. And not to undermine somebody's confidence. And often when evaluating the first A2, we're very generous. And often <coughs> there's lots of mistakes, often grabbing this, possibly pacing back and forwards, all those mistakes we've all made. Perhaps there's a big stutter. What we want to do is encourage them to go through. And so therefore, it is important to only pick one or two points that they would have a drastic effect on their speaking. Perhaps if they're always standing there with their hands in their pockets and reciting the most boring story you can imagine, and possibly just bouncing ideas off the wall, you know it's a rant and it's just turning everybody off and you're just going, gosh, you know, actually if you just take your hands out of your pockets and just slow down a bit and actually have a consistent story, the A2 is really the one we get the most practice at and actually is the most important. A clear beginning, middle and an end. How often do we digress from that? And that is what's really important about the Speakers Club, is to see that importance of the first bit. The salutation is so important. Why? For several reasons. When you get up from your chair, it is not a great place to be, knowing that you're going to come up. You should be starting to um, just check the, the mouth is working. If anybody's here talking in front of a stage, the best thing to do is to go off stage and just check everything's working. Just do a little facial exercise, possibly just loosen up the body a little bit, and then you're ready to come on board. Sitting still and only getting a couple of paces, standing up behind and delivering a speech is hard. So possibly if you know you're going to give a speech, Start from the back of the room. It at least gives you some idea, right, I'm ready for the engagement. That's why possibly evaluating how they walk up to the lecture, how they greet the lecture, and how they greet the audience is often your first part of the evaluation. And it should be word perfect. The other thing which should be word perfect it's the very end. It's not because the, the red lights come off and they go, oh, sorry, that's it, bye-bye. There is a clear structure to know that I will be finishing the speech then. So those two pieces should be so confident, rock solid. 
And everything in between should be a story. It should be able to follow the story. The A8 is hard because humour is the time bomb. You lock in a funny joke, the pink elephant, for instance, and you have your imagination goes off about where you'll find a pink elephant with green ears. You actually stop listening to me, and you have your own imagination going on, and you suddenly drop back into the speech when you've finished your own personal journey. That is why the A8 is a really difficult one to take everybody on board because we're all working at slightly different levels. And you have to remember that whenever you're doing any speech. When you're giving thought to the audience, then what's going to happen is they're going to have their own private thought and you're going to continue. They'll drop back into the speech when they're ready and you do not have any control over it. It's really important when evaluating somebody that you listen intensely to what they are saying. If you're making notes about the speech, don't worry if you're not writing anything. Because that means you're listening. And listening is good. If you're writing, I would argue, possibly a male point of view, that you can't do two things at once. If you're writing down, oh, that was a good part, I'll write it down, you're recalling what they just said and writing it down, and not listening to what they're saying next. So when in evaluation, it's really hard to do both at the same time. I suggest the way I would prefer to do it is just make little notes, one words. Because the art of a good evaluation is not regurgitating the whole speech. You only need to illustrate three points. The easy one is, is when they come up and how they greet you. Do they get you on board? What initially made you like the speech? Was it the funny hat? Was it what they say? But you will be able to remember that after the speech. There's many speeches I've been to and you're half asleep. Why? Because you've had a big meal. You're sitting in a comfortable chair and you've got do not disturb across your eyes. <laughs> and yet, they will grab your attention an arresting title. This is going to be good. They've got my interest straight away. And even though it might seem a nightmare, is that you've got nothing on your paper by the time they finished. You're going, oh my gosh, I've now got to evaluate them. That's a good speech. You've gone with the journey. All you need is a few minutes to write down what you remember, those alliterations, the gestures you liked, what you didn't like. But remember one thing, everything you didn't like, you've got to find something you did like. You have to give a balanced argument. Because if you only dwell on what they didn't like, do you think it would be nice to come back? They want to know what you didn't like, but how can I do something about it? Explain why grabbing the lectern and pushing it down <laughs> so that Sue can come and read it properly <laughs> is so much better than saying, oh, actually you just lent on the, on the lectern all the time. Do you see what I'm saying? Is you've got to give some construction behind it. So what you liked is I liked it because you really engaged, you looked around the audience, you drew me in. You thought the pink elephant was a great red herring. 
that you don't have a fetish about red elephants but red elephants are only pink elephants underneath the other thing to watch out for is not to get reciting the whole shebang you know, the, we do not need to listen to the whole speech yet again one or two words or sentences is enough you're not trying to fill the three to five minutes with I can remember everything he said I like this I didn't quite like that or we should have done this we're here to learn but to learn well my personal preference is always to tell the people whether they passed or failed at the very beginning because then they're not sitting there. Have you ever sat there and wondered, well, I wonder if I passed or not? And if you wondered whether you wanted to pass or not, you're not really listening to what the evaluation is trying to do. So why not tell them first off? You passed your A8 because I loved it. I found myself grinning and I had written nothing down. In this case, I have written something down. But do you, do you see what I mean? You could come up and quite easily say you've passed your A8, but where we could see a little bit of improvement is here. But I can tell you what, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I found myself grinning all the way through. I can think about Pink Elephant when I drive home and I will remember it. But how do you get there? How could you even make it better? You could give more alliteration to the pink elephant in the environment it's in. You could do better word pictures. Perhaps you need a better story. Perhaps there wasn't an arresting title. But these are all things you can do as a process of speaking to them. And once you get your A10, it isn't finished. As Carl quite happily tells us, we can go on to do even more. But the real art is to come up time and time and time again, to practice, to do that 10,000 hours flying. You don't get good at anything without practice. An evaluation is a key part which allows us to grow, to get better. And that's what's really important. So just remember, the maximum of three points you want to take out of any speech. Three good points, got to be balanced, with three learnings. And I'd rather use the words learnings than what you didn't like. Okay? What, how can you engage more with our, our things, our, 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 our audience? I'm just making sure of what everybody likes to see and to like to hear. But my final point is, is the thing which makes a really good speech, in my opinion, is to be able to take people on that journey. Do not get ideas ransacking your mind, because that very easily becomes a rant. And the practice, I don't know about you guys, I guess we're all busy. But I find the best place to practice is driving. Normally I'm in the car by myself, but I speak out loud. And that's really important. Because when you speak out loud, you not only speak, you also listen. And therefore when you're standing out here, you actually find that it does work. It's a lack of practice which most of us are scared of. Actually coming up here and speaking gives us the confidence to go and do it in more challenging places. And possibly the most challenging place, I would say, is if you're looking for a bit of entertainment one day. You know you have this Thursday extra Thursday. What about getting on a coach, going up to Speaker's Corner and delivering a speech there? 
and A8 would be a great way to 